All right. Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at automated machine learning. And more specifically, we will look at the questions, what is automated machine learning and why is it important? All right, so let's start directly. Now, automated machine learning, of course, contains the word machine learning which means that we want a machine to be able to learn to perform certain tasks from data. So we do not want to explicitly program the machine to perform a certain task, but we really want it to learn it from data itself. And what this usually looks like is that we have some data set. This data is pre-processed, where the pre-processing is selected by the human. This pre-processed data is then fed into a learning algorithm and the learning algorithm outputs a model. Now, this model, of course, has a certain performance. We want to evaluate how well the model is performing. So we evaluate the model, and this observation is then fed again to the humans. <clears throat> so the humans observe the performance of the model, and then what they usually do is they do a lot of trial and error. You know, maybe they're not directly happy with the initial performance, and they want to try to squeeze out some more uh, performance by either changing the data pre-processing methods or maybe the learning algorithm and the corresponding hyperparameters of the learning algorithm. All right, so while this looks pretty simple, there are a few subtle things that I would like to stress uh, in this figure. Uh, first of all, we have to note that the model is not equivalent to a learning algorithm. They are really two distinct things. So the learning algorithm takes in pre-processed data and outputs a model. Now the model is different in the sense that it takes in new inputs or just inputs and its output are predictions for those inputs. You see, so the learning algorithm outputs a model whereas the model outputs predictions. All right, secondly, the model is often associated with parameters denoted by the symbol. Now, parameters control the behavior of the model, which is determined by the learning algorithm. So the learning algorithm often outputs these parameters, and we do not have to think about them ourselves as human experts. And that's the reason that there is no arrow from the human experts directly to the model. The learning algorithm also has parameters. But to distinguish these from the model parameters, we call them hyperparameters. And the hyperparameters control the learning algorithm. And these are often determined by the humans. Now, examples of parameters would be for a neural network, for example, all of the weights of this neural network. And in a decision tree, it would be, for example, the thresholds uh, in every node and maybe the rules that we use to go either left or right, etc. Now, examples of hyperparameters include, for example, for a neural network trained with gradient descent, this could be something like the learning rate, uh, the momentum value, etc., etc. <coughs> All right. Now, as you have seen in the figure before, the human expert has many responsibilities. So the human expert has to decide on data processing steps that they want to use, whether how they want to clean the data, what features they want to extract and feed into the learning algorithm, etc., etc. Moreover, the human also has to select the algorithm that they want to use. For example, support vector machine, a neural network, or any other learning algorithm. Moreover, they also have to choose the corresponding or associated hyperparameters of these learning algorithms. And this is what we call hyperparameter selection. Now, automating one or more of these things is what we call automated machine learning. So what that looks like in the image is that instead of the human being fully responsible for all of these choices, we introduce an auto male agent, which is either responsible for part of the choices that have to be made, or it can fully replace the human and be responsible for making all of these choices. So that's what automated machine learning is. But now, of course, a question that you may have is, well, why should we be interested in this? And, and why is this important? So let's take a look at this. 
And the key insight is that the choice of the pre-processing, the learning algorithm, and the hyperparameter values is crucial for achieving good performance. The difference between a state-of-the-art performance model and a mediocre model could be the difference in these choices. Now, finding good settings for these components, however, requires expert domain knowledge. So this is something often done by data scientists who understand the machine learning algorithm and understand the influence of the different choices on the performance. And based on this, it, the human can then tune these things in order to maximize the performance. <clears throat> now, what this means is that machine learning uh, is not widely accessible to people who do not have this knowledge, who do not really understand the effect of these different components on the performance of your model. And this can be very hard, right? So this point really limits the widespread use of machine learning. Now, secondly, it just takes a lot of effort to actually find correct settings for, for all of these components in order to be satisfied with, with the performance. Now, in addition, it's also expensive because it often takes a lot of compute time, a lot of human time, which is uh, expensive. You have to pay for the salaries of the data scientists, uh, which are not too, uh, too low. And lastly, uh, having a human finding good settings for these components may be suboptimal. So machines may be able to do better. Now, all of these reasons are things that why we would want to automate ma machine learning. So by automating machine learning, we democratize the use of machine learning methods, meaning that we increase the wide applicability and lower the threshold for actually using these techniques. So you no longer need to have expert domain knowledge to actually use machine learning methodology. Now, secondly, it can save human time, effort, and money. And lastly, it can lead to better performance. Now, most automated machine learning methods can be thought of very abstractly in terms of these three components. So the automated machine learning system, of course, needs to have a search space. So the search space consists of all of the different uh, hyperparameter values, maybe pre-processing steps, et cetera, et cetera, over which the agent can search. So besides the search space, the AutoML agent, of course, also needs to have a search algorithm which determines how it is going to search through this search space. Now, of course, search, uh, what, what we do in search is we want to try to maximize the performance. So we need to have some kind of evaluation mechanism that allows us to distinguish candidate solutions in the search space from each other, and which allows us to guide the search towards more and more promising or well-performing methods. All right, so this is on a high level what automated machine learning is. All right, thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.